so um, yeah hello guys so um, yeah in this tutorial you will see how to actually like easy texture your models and also I'm gonna teach you how to UV map so there are two parts in this tutorial so the false texturing and then the UV mapping texturing so in here you can just skip to the first one or the second one but um, I really recommend to watch it all because um, in the beginning of this video you will see how to add the textures and all that and um, yeah just first watch the beginning and then you will see okay so enjoy the video hello guys so um, last time we started off with this so this is our fence maybe let's rename this back so um yeah this is our fence we created last tutorial so what we're gonna do now is like the basic of texturing and like adding your your materials yeah so that's what we're gonna start off today so we're gonna texture this fence and then we'll see for the next tutorial so first of all we're going we're gonna create like a little material so we're gonna just double click on here and it will create a material so just gonna double click it again and it will open this window so we don't need reflection reflectance <laughs> so yeah and select that and select color and in here there's like a texture tag so you just click the three points in here and it will open like like a folder for you and um, you just look around in your folders for like the texture you want to have on your object so for me I'm gonna create like like a wood because yeah it's like a fence so make sure this is a non because otherwise it will be blurry and yeah you don't want that in your model so now we have the material maybe we can name this like wood or whatever you want so then we're gonna drag it just over each of the yeah like objects but um, you can also just drag it like over here and um if you see like the texturing isn't quite right so yeah we're gonna figure that soon but first we're gonna also add a texture for the nails so let's add a second material double tap and let's name these nails and double click again and click this and yeah pick a new texture so we're gonna i'm gonna find my like the anvil texture so mm, yeah you can just have whatever texture you want for your model so now i created the texture and we're gonna select like the plank I'm gonna change this because this is the top plank and this is the bottom one so yeah the first plank we're gonna go to polygon mode we're gonna select this so I'm gonna use like a little icon on my yeah like shortcuts things and um, it's scroll selection so if you don't have this icon on your like layouts we can go to the icon we created on our tutorial customize comments and if you don't know how to go there just go windows customizations customization comments so let's just click on the icon i created so the name filter is like here grow selection so grow selection you can drag it over here if you don't have it and also cool feature is like shrink selection so some cool um, things to have if you're like a modeler so yeah just click grow selection and it will yeah actually grow the selection so now we can grab the material and just drag it over here and yeah it's as easy as that now you have like the nails and I'm gonna do this like a second one because I have to make one plank and actually copy copy it so yeah it's double work if you just do them both like 
each of them, like texture each of them different. So yeah, just, I gotta make one plank, okay? Um, yeah, so there are some like simple ways to actually do this, but I'm gonna go more advanced. But first of all, I'm gonna show you the simple way. So we're gonna select all of the textures in here. So with control, you just select one and with yeah control and yeah you have all your materials selected so then under here it, it will um, take you to a texture tag so in here you can see the protection um, right now it's on UVV mapping so that's what we're gonna do later in this tutorial oh you actually basic like UV map this but there is an easier way to, for like Minecraft models but um it's not always the best way so we're just gonna go to cubic in here and it actually creates like yeah the cubic for actually the minecraft model but it's this still it doesn't look right so under here there are some like cool features you can do so the length for you you can change this to 50 and it will actually do the, do the half of like texture and do the same with the v and now you have something like this, but um, the, the texture of the Minecraft model is still not quite right in the place where the segments are. So there's also an offset for the U and the V. And um, I think it's V right now, so the height. And we're gonna do this, this one, 1.563. Because yeah, that's, the fourth of like one Minecraft pixel and it will do the half of it like see it's just the same like this if you divide this by two it's two four five six three and actually it's just 6.25 divided by four and you will have the same so yeah now it's kind of like this it's it looks good with um, the planks but still the base isn't quite right but um, I also don't like it the plank because there's like a stripe stripe uh, yeah in here so I kind of want this to be rotated so you can use another texture with it but it's easier if you just like do UV mapping because I don't think you can rotate it in just like those so we're gonna do UV mapping later, but this is like an easy fix, but what you can do is actually like um, decreases with 6.25 and yeah, I think this looks kind of better, but it's also much better if it's like, like you see the stripes in here, it's like not horizontal, but the other way. So <laughs> vertical, I guess. Yes. Um, so yeah, that's this for the first plank. We also gonna do the texture for like the nails. So it's just the same, 50, 50 and no, no, first protection go to cubic. And yeah, now it's 50, 50 and because it still doesn't fit in the like polygon, we're gonna go like this. So just the same with the other ones. So. Yep, it's also added to here, so yeah, that's one plank. Actually, we can delete this one because it's actually the same and drag it right here. And then the stand of the pole still doesn't look quite right. So we're going to select those um, two poles and then select the texture tag with control and yeah, it, it's it's added on cubic, but I think you have to delete this for this one. Yeah, and then it will fit in that one. But the offset hue we're gonna do like this, so it will swap the texture like in half pixel. Mm, yeah, this looks kind of gay for me, but still, this isn't the best way. But it's like an easy way if you want to go fast over like. The texturing for Minecraft but 
still not the same like UV mapping because I will show you why because if you add like a deformer on here so let's just like it was quite a bit like now let's just do the fa this fast so yeah we added the deformer and if you added the deformer on here you will see the texture is just like really cubic and you can fi fix that with UV mapping so that's what we're gonna do now so still um, this way is also like really good if you don't use like the formers or other stuff like that so yeah it's it's still like you can create cool models with that method so now I gotta teach you how to do UV mapping so all of those textures you can select those and instead of protection we go to UV mapping it still doesn't look quite right in here so we're gonna open our new layout so the layout uh, we're gonna go to UV edit so I have a custom one but it's still kind of the same in the PV editing so mm, yeah I'm gonna use like the normal one if you don't know how yeah actually change some stuff in here so yeah the normal layout first of all we're gonna go in like the UV polygon mode so now you can select all the polygons of the model so then we want to maybe track or object in there there is already an object in here but which normally it isn't because yeah I already opened like the texture in here but uh, with you I guess it isn't so how to do that is actually um, make it editable you see this X in here so you click on that and you make it editable and you drag it in here and it will add the texture to here so yeah that's what you want to do what what you want to do so um, yeah maybe you can also make this editable and we go gonna go back to objects so first of all we have like the blanks in here so we're gonna go to each side side we're gonna we don't gonna select every like polygon we're gonna do it with each side so you can see like clean what you want to try to do so if I select this side so we have three polygons in the height so um, yeah we have mm, wait a moment so three divided wait yeah, yeah it's actually right right so we have three polygons um, in the height but the texture is actually like 16 polygons so we're gonna do three divided by 16 because we have three polygons in our object but we want it's um, yeah it is normally 16 but we want three in our object so um, this has to be one so we're gonna apply this oh no no wait 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 a moment we also need to do the X because it's still um, like the X X um, this we're gonna do one and now we're gonna divide this by 16 again and because we want one like in the sideway and divide it by 16 so now we have something like this and it's actually like yeah the base of this three polygons in here so let's just go back to one one and now we're gonna do like the snap settings because it isn't like snapped good in here so we're gonna go to E you can press E on your keyboard and then go to snappings and um, you can select this one so you have like a V and move the snap setting to buy 6.25 that's the best way in here so make sure you're on the move tool and you can move this to everywhere you want so and because it isn't like it's still on a half of, half of a pixel so we're gonna divide by two so now we can snap to half pixels and I think it's 
yeah, there is still, the textures are still on um, like the 50s for the cubic thing. So the length of the UV, we're gonna go to 100 to the basic again. So this has to be one. Um, back to zero, back to zero. So now is everything normal again. So it used to be like this. So yeah, this we're gonna do now um, the second method. Method, yeah. So now we have like this in our texture. So yeah, let's just do the same and the, on the other side. So um, the side ones are like one pixel and divided by 16 because the texture is like 16, 16 pixels. So the height is, it has to be three pixels because we want three, three pixels in our object, but texture is 16, so divided by 16. And then press apply. And then you can drag it next to here. So yeah. So now let's do like the front of the plank. And the other side. And um, we want to yeah, actually don't want to select like the nails on here. Yep, yeah, and the other side same so yeah that's because we only need to texture like the planks in here so yeah so because um, I can't really tell this but I know it's like 200 and it 200 is actually like 32 in the pixels so we know the side the horizontal is like 32 pixels in the polygons for the editor so yeah sorry um and we're gonna divide that by 16 because like the texture is 16 and the height is three pixels mm, we don't need that so um three pixels and divide it by 16 okay and then press apply so yeah it's kind of bigger the texture but um, no worries it will just like add a texture next to it so yeah you don't have to worry about that and you can just drag it like up so one thing like here hmm, maybe i'm gonna rotate this in the other way and maybe this also so you just press shift to actually um yeah if you click one and I click another, it's just, you select another, but if you press shift, you can multiply those um, polygons. So yeah, we want to go rotate it to the other side, but we just don't want to use the rotate tool, but actually like a tool in here, it's like the mirror. So you just press this and it's the other side and you can also use the U, it's like the horizontal mirror so yeah and you must have those icons because I used the basic UV editing so now we have this on our first plank so let's just also do the back in here maybe um, remove these poles for a moment and the other stuff so just press alt on your keyboard and you just double tap those like two dots and yeah it will make it invisible so we just select those back in here and it's because we already textured this one the transform should be the same and then you just drag this over here yep this looks nice to me and now we're gonna do like the top mm. And oh, and this, and then the bottom. Yes. So now the height is still isn't the same, but the horizontal like pixels isn't changed. It's it still isn't is 
32 so the height is actually one right now it's one pixel so we're gonna divide that by 16 I guess yes so and you can, you can also see that in like this editor menu the height so yeah let's just move this up there and maybe if we want to change like this side we just then select all of those and use in here and drag it up so you have something like this and now we want to maybe texture like those ones Hmm. Let me see. Um, because this used to be on like the planks, it's still like three pixels high because we extruded it. So we're gonna do like three divided by sixteen, and now it's one pixel high. So drag this up, and then like the other sides. Yeah, it's still um, like true pixels because we extruded it. So, and um, maybe a little thing if you extrude it, the texturing will be different. So, a few might have seen there. So, still drag this up, and maybe because it's like on the rands, it will make like a glitchy look. So, we're gonna do. The half of this pixel so um, 0 0.5 and oh no, no wait wait a moment so first of all we want to just select the rounding of this one and then the other one so you can like use a shortcut of this so we can go to the polygon mode use and um, click U L on your keyboard and you can like yeah, polygon mode U L and you can select like the rounds around the nail and we're gonna go to back to the um, UV polygons and then we're gonna do yeah like 0 0.5 apply and to make like this because if you seen there was like a texture glitch so that's how you actually fix this and then the same with here back to polygon mode because on this mode you just can't use you oh, because you just can't select it you can use it too but it's impossible to select this so back to polygon modes select this and then go to here and then still do the same for this one apply and now you have textured like the first plank so I'm gonna go back to the startup layout because it's like kind of easier and or actually like my custom one so yeah now you have the nail and we can make this visible again so we're gonna do alt and do all of this again and now we can delete actually this plank oh I deleted the textures for so make sure you select like really the plank and make sure also you're in the model actually so yeah um, delete this one and drag this back under here and then make sure you have your snap settings on and now you have like two textured planks so now we're gonna like select um, UV map like the stance of the pole so I can actually delete this we just need one pole because we can duplicate the pole and yeah drag it over there so I'm gonna make this other one invisible so yeah just alt and the two um, points so yeah so we can only see the yeah like the stance so back to UV editing and polygon UV polygon so now first of all I gonna do like the size and I can actually select all the sides because 
those sides is the same as this side if you see with the polygons it's 3 by 14 pixels and it is it's the same on this side so every side if you want to um, UV map this it has to be the same or otherwise um, if this top isn't the same so you have to use like an other transform method so yeah that's what we're gonna do now so back to um, UV polygons and now because um, the planks is an other texture we just um, got to drag this over here normally um, let's see oh wait a moment I selected the wrong thing so drag this over here oh control Z to undo it so yeah UV polygon mode so yeah select actually all the sides in here you can also do it with the method like here with the um, UL so the loop tool but uh, I'm gonna just do it like this just for now so yeah I almost selected everything so just this and now we have it so only the sides of it not though because those are different like polygons so if you actually see in here you see like three points so that means you have like three um no way are you fucking kidding me so yeah i will be back okay okay sorry for that guys um i was just um, rendering out a little animation and um uh, yeah every renderer is lost so <laughs> i have to do this again but uh, never mind let's just start again so we were here last um yeah because the crash so yeah that's just three pixels and the height is like 40 normally one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen yes so i'm right so let's go back to transform so the x was three and um divided by 16 because 16 pixels you know and the height was 14 divided by 16 apply so let's just drag this over here so now it's with every side and then you can just like change some sides if you want different like ones if you want to have yeah, some just other textures you know so yeah you can do this like this or you can just leave it like that if you like it like that so it's up to you and the last one oh control z and now like that so yeah and deselect everything and now the tops and that's like three three if you see <laughs> So yeah, 3 divided by 16 and here the same, 3 divided by 16, apply and whoop, that wasn't right, so control ZZ and yeah, go to the move tool and yeah, take it to a point where you want, so mm, let's just have it like here or yeah, just here and deselect that and now like this so let's go back to the startup um, layout and now we have the pole so you can make this visible again and oh and then duplicate this pole Think that's right yep it's just because my snap settings were so low so normally you just use like 6.25 for like basic modeling but this is right because i divided it by four so yeah this like basic fence and um in the next tutorial we will go like 
some like the user data you can add on this fence and like the basic like little features you can add so yeah that's for the next tutorial so bye guys i think that's it don't forget to leave a like and um, sorry for that crash <laughs> subscribe and um see you later yeah <laughs> that's it bye